Hey, I'm Tyler Bronski. You're watching my YouTube channel where I interview some of the most recognizable faces in entertainment and the digital space. Today's guest, she's an actress featured in projects such as American Vandal and Saturday Night Live, but right now is best known for her TikTok videos where she's bringing back that childhood nostalgia with her Disney Channel-like sketches. If you've seen her videos before, you know her characters such as Molly, Derek, and the popular girl Gazelle. But the only character she's playing today is herself. She is Yelena Friedman. How are you, Yelena? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks for doing this. I appreciate it. I'm curious. So you told me before we started this, you just hit 90K. How do you think Gazelle would react to having that many followers on TikTok? Hello, my name's Gazelle. And just by looking at me, you can probably already tell that I'm very popular. She'd be like, that's not enough anymore. <laughs> yeah, she'd be the type to be like, if you need a shout out, come to me. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, exactly. I'm just so comfortable. <laughs> yeah. So anyone that's seen your videos before, you can tell you have a good understanding of a type of acting for those childhood type <laughs> shows. What do you think is the funniest part about the Disney Channel style of acting? I think it's just this idea of um, teens being portrayed in like a very not realistic way. Do you know what I mean? Like the whole like we bumped into each other in the hallway and hold this hold the phone are we madly in love now like stuff like that but um i think that's what makes those movies so fun and why they're so popular is because everybody loves seeing things like that where it's like oh maybe i can just bump into someone and fall madly in love what were some of those shows that you grew up on that you're taking inspiration for your sketches i was a big hannah montana fan i loved uh wizards of waverly place classic um, let me think, I watched so many. I was like super into the Bratz movies when they came out. <laughs> I the musical, all that stuff, Cheetah Girls. Right. Yeah. Definitely, I know. Yeah. For me, it's like Sweet Life, Zach and Cody, that's gotta be up there. Oh, Gazelle kind of reminds me of London Tipton in a way. There, there's some similarities. <laughs> so you're taking some of the same characters you do on TikTok and also applying it to your YouTube channel as well. Kind of creating like, long form 15 minute episodes which that doesn't seem easy to do like and i've been impressed how you're able to kind of create like scenarios and write some dialogue so how much time are you putting into the writing for your sketches um a lot i started kind of making sketches and stuff even before this and for these specific videos it, it, it is pretty hard just because i am playing you know pretty much all of the characters um so the hardest part i think is just cutting everything to make it flow naturally and make it look like it's like an actual conversation even if it's just me both times but the writing of this stuff also takes a while because you know i come up with an idea but then i want to write it in a way that's like okay i want to try and fit as many jokes in as possible so it takes it takes a good amount of time but i mean i love doing it it, it makes me so happy what do you like about tiktok so far in their format and how your sketches fit into that style of uh, videos um, I think it's just super, super easy to use. I mean, anyone can make videos on there. I think that's why the app is so popular because it's just so, so easy. And like making a quick video, you know, that's the best way to get stuff out there. As I mentioned, you are a legitimate actress. Like maybe people on your TikTok followers don't realize this. Like maybe they just think you're good at the impressions, but you are, <laughs> you have management, you're signed with a, a talent agency. And like I said, you understand the type of acting. So what efforts in the past have you made towards towards pursuing like a Disney, Nickelodeon type of show in the past? So um, I think I started auditioning for like TV film kind of stuff when I was in like sixth grade and I used to live in Portland, Oregon and I was signed with an agency there. I just auditioned as much as I could, did a little thing here, did a little thing there. And then when senior year hit, it was kind of this conversation of, okay, well, I, I've known for a long time that I want to pursue acting as a legitimate career. So what path do I go down, you know what I mean? Because there's, I can go to a college, I can go to a conservatory, I can, I can do none of the above, I can just, you know. And so I thought for a really, really long time about what I wanted to do and what I felt was gonna be best for me and what my um, management thought was gonna be best for me at the time. And so we ended up deciding that I was gonna move to New York right off the bat, right out of high school. Wow. And, um, I didn't go to college or anything like that. I joined an acting conservatory and just kind of hit the ground running. I mean, I have taken so many acting classes at so many different places. I've been part of conservatories. I've um, taken singing lessons, you know, dance classes, all that stuff. And in New York, it's 
you know, it's crazy and it's it's a tough industry, but you know, I'm, I feel like I'm a really hard worker. And so that was for me, the best path to go down was to just go there and do it. You know what I mean? When did you realize how competitive acting was? When was a moment when you're like, this is tough. This is a tough industry to, to break into. I mean, like right off the bat, because you know, it's there's so many people who want who want to do it, and it's just such a popular art form. So, yeah, just right off the bat, I mean, even like the first audition, I think I went to. I remember walking to a room and seeing like 15 girls who look just like me for this like certain type and stuff like that, and that happens all the time, you know. So it's it's competitive. But I think you just have to have a really, really thick skin about it. And you know, it's like, if you don't get this one, maybe you'll get something else down the line. It's just a matter of continuing to audition over and over. Let's say someone comes up to you, Yelena, I want to get into acting, but I don't, I don't know where to start. What would be uh, the first piece of advice you would give there? It's funny because I actually have some of my um, fans whenever I do live streams asking this, and it's always the same. I mean, you got to start with a class. You know, like no one just becomes automatically like, amazing it takes a lot of time and acting is very vulnerable and it's a lot of you know like showing your soul and being truthful and so yeah i would highly recommend i mean depending on what you want to do if it's tv film if it's theater if it's this or that find a class and just stick to it and do as many classes as you can because it pays off and there's never like a point where it's like okay now i've learned everything it's like no 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 this is a career where you are just going to keep learning continuously so that's also kind of fun that's the fun part about it if you were told you booked your dream role tomorrow what would it be oh my gosh i think at this point in my life it would be to be on snl that like if i got a call if things happen i i think that would be i i, I would just cry that would be amazing yeah what was the set experience like for you the day you did that short uh, bit for SNL? It was so amazing. So I was um, really lucky because I had a friend who had been um, working with them. And he was like, oh, like, uh, do this, blah, blah, blah. So I was lucky enough to get even the opportunity to just be there. And I'm the kind of person where it's like, you know, like, don't even, I don't even have to be in the shot. Like, just let me <laughs> be in the presence. Like, let me soak it all in. And so, um... I went and I woke up at like six in the morning and the set was really um, far away from where I lived. And so I like took the subway for like an hour or so and I finally got to the, to the set. And just right off the bat, you know, like you have to sign in, you have to fill out all these papers, you have to do this. But then getting onto the actual set was just amazing. I mean, to see the way that everything works and how everything runs, and to see how these professionals do it. And, and they're just so, really, really, everyone on that show, including, you know, all the people who are doing like the camera work and everything are just so inspirational. And they're so smart and so good at what they do that they make it look so easy. Yeah, but, it, but like seeing it from, you know, behind everything was just amazing just to see how everyone, you know, how like Cecily prepares or how yeah. like Mikey Day prepares or like how Will Ferrell prepares. And it, it was just, I, I'm so glad that I could have been a part of it. It was amazing. That's amazing. The fact that that would be like a dream show for you too, to see it so early. That's so cool. I remember I did, uh, I did like background work for a couple shows like Stranger Things. And I mean, you have a better appreciation because you yeah. want to be an actor. I don't really want to go into acting, but like just it's seeing so that is just seeing the, how the sets operate and Millie Bobby Brown, she, she can just like get up in a second and just perform her lines. And where I see like Joe Keery, his way of preparing was he would pace around the set. He would just have a sheet of paper and just pace. People do it differently and you wouldn't know that yeah. unless you're on the set. Exactly, because they just make it look like so seamless. Yeah. That's what I mean. Just so, I'm just, I'm a big fan of everyone who can do that. It's just amazing. Absolutely. Uh, last question for you, Yelena. Because of your success on TikTok right now and kind of the growing success, how do you think your TikTok can help you with maybe your acting career, how they can kind of intertwine with each other? Well, I think, I mean, a possibility right now is, you know, do I, because I currently live in New York. I'm in Florida right now for quarantine. But it's kind of like, do I want to move to LA? And that's been a big discussion of, okay, well, maybe there's a little more opportunity for the work that I want in LA. Um, but also it's just, you know, auditioning is sometimes hard because people only get to see a sliver 
of potentially what you're more capable of. So having TikTok and having like my own videos is a nice way of being like, you know, I'm creating this stuff to show that I, I really, really care about it and I want to do more. So it's, it's helped in the sense that it's shown who I am more. And I think anyone who makes videos, like I'm sure you understand that too, where it's just, you get to show a little bit more of who you are to people who may not always see that. You know what I mean? Totally. I mean, you're creating your own narrative right now with your TikTok videos, your YouTube, where you're in an industry where, you know, other people control if you're casted or not. And you're making the name for yourself on uh, social media. So I, t I totally get it. All right. She's Yelena Friedman, Gazelle, Molly, Derek, all of the above. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.